Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix if the photo room app is just not loading. So when you're trying to open the photo room app and it just keeps on loading just like I'm going to show you guys right now, it's just not opening, it's not working, then here's how you can fix this and I have two easy ways to fix this. So the first thing you want to make sure to do is as you guys can see it's just not loading, nothing is happening right now. And that is simply because even though this is an editing app, you do actually need Wi-Fi. So I would recommend making making sure that Wi-Fi is connected and that you are connected to a really stable Wi-Fi connection or of course shadow remote is enabled. So yeah, we can literally right now see that that fixed the issue for me by simply making sure that Wi-Fi is enabled. Now, if you're 100% sure that Wi-Fi is enabled, then the second thing I would recommend doing is literally just clearing the cache of the photo room app. Because if a lot of cache is built up over on your uh, photo room app, then sometimes it's called make your app load really low, slow and it will just lag a lot. And that could also be the issue with your photo room app. So go into general iPhone storage on an Android. All you need to do is scroll down over on the settings page till you find the photo room app, just like this. Going to scroll down again till we find the photo room app right here and then on android you will literally have a clear cache button on the iphone will will have an offload app button when you click on it it will basically clear the cache of your photo room app and hard reset it and then when you reinstall it back all your documents and all your data will still be there like it says right here this will free up storage used by the app but it keeps the documents and data so I would recommend doing that and that should definitely fix the issue for you. So if it did, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.